fucking huge, man. Like, dog catch. <laughs> Grasshopper! It's like, I'm fucking running, Ron. And I'm just standing here. He's pooping. He's pooping. He's pooping. Um, yeah, he's, he's, uh, he's pretty fast, man. Like, he takes five, seven, ten strides, and he's just gone. He is whip it, border whip it, I think. Grasshopper, come on, handsome. Easy dog catch. Oh, that was terrible. Dog catch. Yes, good. I mean, that's... That's like uh, really, really huge. So I'm gonna do some bite work. So he's gonna take off with the toy. I'm pretty sure of that. So I'm gonna do some bite work and place a lot of value right on me. I'm gonna cue the bite, I'm gonna cue the drop, and I'm gonna try and keep it moving. I have to kind of predict his drop. So there'll be, I'll give the drop or the bite cue and there'll be a little latency between the bite cue and the drop. I'd like to speed that up, but I'm gonna also try and predict it really well so I can make the drop happen quickly and sharply. And I'm gonna place a lot of value on me. And then, um, and then I'm gonna dismiss him after a few. And I'm gonna try and get this idea that playing Frisbee is like hot shit, like boom, pow, boom, pow. A whole bunch of yes and super successful stuff. And then let him check out. He's out peeing along the fence line right now. I'm gonna wait for him to give me some kind of orientation if Robin's here. I feel for you. I'm with you, Robin. We uh, free shape and capture uh, engagement. Um, it's really nice to, to free shape and capture that rather than recall the dog. Um, I recall my dogs that have more experience and really know how to engage and disengage. But the dogs who don't have that, I shape and capture their initial release from the environment. And I'm just waiting. He's pooping again, so... He's got some problems with, uh, yes, good man. Yes, good man. That is my bite cue. He's now running around with it like he stole it. Ouse. Yes. Yes, good man. Ouse. Yes. Yes, good man. And I'm really waiting here. He's running around in this big arc. Ouse. Yes. And I'm waiting to cue that drop. I really want to cue that right away. I want to get like out drop or bite drop, bite drop. Funny man. Ouse. I'm going to throw a roller this time. Yes, good man. What? That's amazing. Come on, handsome. Come on, big man. Yeah. He ran by. Ouse. Yes. Yes, good man. Ouse. Yes. Oh, you missed it. Go do dog stuff. And I'm going to go ahead and quit him on this near miss. And I dismissed him right after that. And he's like, no way, Ron. I'm not leaving. And he's tearing toys out of my hand and shit right now. It's exactly what I want out of this guy right now. I want him pressuring me to play, sticking around. So he's dismissed and he's, you know, a foot or two away from me, kind of trolling me with the toy. He really wants to play like that. So... Um, anybody have any, any questions or things that they notice with, uh, that little grasshopper session there? You guys able to follow it for the most part? Mine. Easy, Chief. All right. All right. You're not, you... Yeah, um, first off, it's really hard to scream drop. Drop is really sharp and hard. Ouse is, it's real easy to be soft. Even when you scream it, it's not a hard sound. Ouse, you know, I'm sure you know that sound, right? But it's not a hard sound. So I like that. It's real easy for me to give that cue without getting sharp and aggressive on the dog. Um, and also when, um, 
I first went to Germany to work. I worked with Marcus and Sabina. And uh, they put Aus on my dog, Chemo, who, um, who dropped on opportunity. And they put a verbal on it. And I just stuck with that. So it's part... Uh, part history and part uh, part function. I really do like that idea of the softness of the cue though. Drop and sp Huh. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, it's the it's the hard consonant, right? D drop, right? Uh, same thing with out. You know, it's real easy to get like out and like jump the dog shit with it. And you know, you guys say out so so matter of factly, and it has so many various reason uh, meanings there that I'm sure. It's a similar situation just because of how it's used. But I think the sound is nice. You ready, handsome? Anything else? I'm getting ready to go again. You ready? I think I'm going to make some throws to him and try and drop him on the run this time. Um, did you guys... Uh, when I get King out, okay? So I'm going to do six more bites with him. And what I'd like you to keep in mind is the time between the bite cue... Uh, I'm going to bring King out in a sec, but I'm going to do six bites with Grasshopper because what's happening here is he's biting and he's taking it from me. The criteria for the bite is removal from the hand. And he's taking that toy from me. And um, I really want a cue drop right away because I want this real fast uh, rate of reinforcement, right? But he's trolling around with it. He's not going to drop it when I ask him to. He's just not. So I'm letting him troll around until it's likely that he's going to drop. At which point in time, I'm going to predict and cue the drop point. And uh, I'll get low latency between the cued drop and the performance of teeth off. Right? So when I get, um, when I get king out, you're going to notice that this, this pace, this speed picks up right away. You're going to hear what I like to do in multiple toy bite work, which is bite and drop and bite and drop and bite and drop and bite and drop, like as quickly as I can to kind of charge up the value around me and get a shit ton of reinforcement, a really high rate of reinforcement. And it looks like Grasshopper actually, yes, good man. Yes, good man. So he's running around. Ouse. Yeah, they're, they're barking at you, aren't they? Yes. Yes. Oh, what happened? Yes, good man. Ouse. Yes. Yes, good man. Ouse. Yes. Yes. Wow, that's amazing. And I'm marking when he takes it from my hand. Ouse. I'm going to throw a roller this time. Yes, good man. But you can see I got pretty decent latency there. I'm okay with that. That's functioning within that like one or two second window where we want our cues to be. So that's pretty good timing for us. But again, when, you, when I get King out and I use this bite work to keep him off the mauling, Aus, yes, Makai, you're gonna hear a much different yes, catch, rate of reinforcement. And I'm making a couple throws to Grasshopper now. Aus, they're much safer than rollers for him. His roller uh, approach is completely ridiculous. And he's lied down, he's chewing on the disc a little bit. I'm just waiting. As soon as he takes his teeth off, I'll mark yes. Reinforce with the around cue. Yes, good man! Yeah, catch. Get out there, get that handsome. Yes, good man! Ouse. And there I am uh, calling it when I want it. And you can see what that gives me. Yes, it gives me five seconds of latency. And I don't want that. I want to get my drop to happen right on top of my drop cue. Come on, handsome. So I'm going to let him run by. I'm actually going to, oh, what happened? You dropped it. So he dropped it on his own. I'm going to make him pick it up. You dropped it. And then as soon as he picks it up, I'll cue, ouse. 
Yes. And he'll drop it right away. Come on, handsome. But uh, I'm not just trying to get the drop. I'm trying to get the cued drop. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Ouse. Yes. I'm trying to keep that latency nice and nice and low and trying to pair. Come on, handsome. My drop cue with his teeth coming off. Yes. Good man. Ouse. Yes, good man, catch. Yes, wow, that's awesome. Grasshopper, yeah, good man. All right, and that's gonna do it for the grasshopper. Yes, you ready? Good man, oh yeah, oh yeah, great work, wow. Jew or something else, yeah. All right, all right. So you guys have any questions or Anything like that on the grasshopper? Um, so initially, I did a pretty good job of predicting and queuing, and then I got greedy. And then I wanted him to drop it kind of on my terms. Just, it happens. I, I, it's how I play. It's the pace I like to play at. Right? And um, it, it just happens.